Welcome back to Prince Blaze Gaming. We are still playing Banjo Kazooie and we're going for our next place, area, arena, uh, uh, sandbox. I, I ran out of. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm talking now. I'm just blah, blah, blah anymore. Uh, what's in here? Uh, I have played this before, but it's been a very long time, so I haven't I haven't really explored anything. Oh, okay, these are cool. Uh, this is another cauldron. So you've just activated a magic cauldron. It's warp zones, basically. It's the equivalent. Did I have another? Oh no, okay, I don't have the other one. I have the. Uh, I found one, but I guess it's not the partnering one. I know you can go up here, and I believe there's a mumbo token. If yep, right here. Um, I, I have another cauldron unlocked, but I don't have the partner cauldron unlocked. You have to unlock specific cauldrons. Uh, we had Clinker's Cavern unlocked last time, but I don't remember where that was at. And I'm going to try to look for it. Okay, 200. Okay, yeah, we have enough. As long as you get, basically, as long as you get every note, 100, 100 notes. I cannot talk. As long as you get 100 notes every single level you will be fine. The notes will never stop you. Uh, you can actually, I believe, uh, the second to last level, you can bypass it because you don't, you have enough notes to go into the final boss level because Click Clock would, I have like zero experience in because I always bypass it because I always go straight to the boss after that, which I lose. I've never beaten the boss, by the way. I've never beaten this game. So that's always exciting because I don't know what I'm going to do for the last episode especially the way my recording equipment's set up right now, so we're going to see. But uh, hopefully we can win the battle. <laughs> and if no one's ever played this game before, and this is your first time watching, uh, well, you're in for a hell of a ride when we get there. But uh, you have to listen to all the sound cues throughout the game, which I can I can technically hear them. But uh, where is Clanker's Cavern? Good grief. I swear that's not the next one. I feel like Clanker's... Oh, I think I went too far. Maybe? I know there's some area back here. This is for Bubblegum Swamp, which is the next level. Um, yeah, the next... The final level in this... I mean, I've never seen the... I, I've seen the final level of the boss afterwards. But the uh, the lead-up to the boss was amazing. Like, <laughs> the little uh, game you play is just... Oh, it's awesome. I've never seen any anything like that in a video game. So that's why this is really cool but it's also kind of like hey have you been paying attention and if you haven't well oops you're not going to be able to beat this game uh is this it no but this is somewhere else where am i at ah there it is okay great clinker's cabin okay that's what we're looking for uh i can't do that right now <laughs> you gotta go hit the switch real quick before you can enter the level the level up these things pipes whatever you want to call them uh, i'm pretty sure i just spent like three four minutes just walking around the hub world not knowing where to go okay that was a clip that i shouldn't i should have made that <laughs> so i was pretty much walking around the overworld for about four or three minutes not knowing where to go so i don't know where to go now guys i know it's right here i found it i found it i'm accomplished in life that's right that's that's how you're accomplished in life right when you when at Banjo Kazooie, when you find Clinker's Cavern. So he's got one move for us, at this level. I have no idea where he's at. Um, I uh, Clinker's Cavern is okay. It's not my favorite. Uh, I think Mumbo Mountain, Mumbo's Mountain, is my favorite, but <laughs> or maybe Treasure Trove Cove because it's like a beach setting. Who doesn't love the beach? Um. But this I'm not very familiar with. I will try my best. But it's going to be a crap. Yep. It's going to be a crap shoot. Dang it. So I just lost two. Okay. Yeah, those guys come out of the wall. Not every time, but I, since I killed this guy, he shouldn't come out. But they're so annoying. Because if you didn't get him or you don't get him at the right angle, he doesn't die. And then you get hurt and then it's just no fun. So those are the new things. I'm an in invulnerability feather. I believe that's the move he teaches us in this level. Because I need it for a section that I remember later. 
But uh, yeah, you're basically invincible. You're invincible, which I mean, I could use the invincibility. Oh, I don't have it yet. Um, you could use it on this section if you wanted to, if you got it later. Um, camera moved on me. Sorry about that. But uh, yay, we got a Jinjo. And at this moment, the honeycombs, they, these things in here, they gives you honey, honeycombs, which is extra health. But um, yeah, those are usually swarmed by bees, so you are uh, discouraged from uh, taking them because the bees will come at you and you will lose health, and it's kind of pointless unless you can get away really quick, which in some instances you can get away. But I don't. I thought there was something else down here. There's the gateway to the actual level. This is always weird because it's like a, it's a pre-level, it's a level before the level. But uh, yeah, down here is where the le real level begins, and there's a giant freaking sub shark thing that greets you when you look up. Yup, right there. Hello, buzz buzz. I'm Clankers, which is blah 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 blah. You're her ship, basically, is what it's saying. She treats her ships like ship. <laughs> uh, I was never really scared of that. It's kind of a cute picture. I don't know. I think he looks weird. But uh, I don't know if that was ever the nightmares of some older gener, younger, older, older generations. <laughs> Just seeing that face and being like, "I want to eat you." It's like, whoa, man, you're a magical talking submarine. That's pretty cool if you think about it. A magically talking submarine? I'd want one of those. I'd want a sub that talked. Maybe not all the time, but at least to me. Like his input. Oh my goodness. It's like it's like it's like a real shark, but it's also a submarine. I, I think it's a sub. It might just be a ship. I I might be wrong. I, I consider it a submarine because it is as of right now, it's technically submerged in water. I don't know if that's what qualifies it to be a sub, but I'm also just kind of walking around. I don't remember this level very well, unfortunately. So I remember this section. You just got to jump out and jump back in, and if you mess up, you don't. You get very mad, and you get very sad because then you're in the water. Extra life I'm not really concerned with. I don't die a lot in this game. I die a couple of times. I've died a couple of times in this game. I've never. I don't think I've ever gotten a game over from dying, though. Maybe in the later levels. Uh, when I get to freaking... Uh, not... What is it? It's not Clinker's Cavern. It's uh, a Rusty Bucket Bay. I swear. I'm going to rage. I hate that level. Rusty Bucket Bay is my least favorite level. It's so hard. Especially on... I'm glad I have this version because it'll save the notes. I can't beat it on N64. It's so hard. It's my worst level. I literally have nothing in that level because I can't do it. I can't even get up here. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm a bear in water. I'm a bear in sewage water. Yep. That, that's that's a great way to end. Okay. So we're going to end it there. Uh, uh, no, I want to get something. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can go get something. I want to get a jiggy or something. I think I can get one in here. I want to get a jiggy before I end this episode. Huh. Go. I might cut some of it, so it might be a little shorter. So that would help. Okay, what's in here? Give me something. Give me something. Uh, notes. Oh, what the heck? Oh, he's like a mutant crab monster. If, oh, whoa. There's multiple. Okay. I think if you just come on. They're like really aggressive. They just want to like kill you. Cool. I think there's one more. I get a jiggy out of this. I know it. Come here. Oh, how did I miss? You gotta be kidding me. Come on. There we go. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you still talking? I crushed you. Okay, I'll get that jiggy real quick. Come on. Let's go, Kazooie. Go, 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 go. We're on a time clock. Oh, how do I get up there? Oh, is there stairs? I think there's stairs. Come on. Where are the stairs at? Oh, is it this thing? Okay. Wow, my depth perception is really bad. Yay, we got a jiggy. Okay. We got at least one jiggy in this level before I end the episode, so 
Hey, we're on the starlight. What? Okay. So uh, next time on Prince Plays Gaming, we're going to finish up this level. We're going to continue on this level, hopefully finish it. But uh, as always, this is Prince Plays signing out, and remember to keep on gaming.